nasa loob siya ng Mayo Medium. Actually, ito, Layo Mayoma pa yan. Another Layo Mayoma. It's a big Layo Mayoma. It's a solid cut surface, parang world. Parang, uh, kasi interlacing fascicle siya. If you do cut section, smooth muscles siya. Okay? It's a benign tumor. Uh, very rare, it becomes malignant. Kaya lang, ang problem would be it causes obstructive symptoms pag masyadong malaki. Or, kung sub-necosal siya, it would cause profuse vaginal bleeding. Okay? Ito po yung sub-necosal? Sub-necosal, more or less, sub-necosal, intramural, and you can have a sub-serous. Ibig sabihin na sa ilalim na serosa. Okay? So, this is layo. Layo means smooth muscle, oma. Kaya tinawag na layo may oma. Okay. Ito naman, this is a breast mass. It's a fibroadenoma. It's a proliferation ng, ng glands, ng ducts actually, ng ducts. And stroma. So usually, it's a well-circumscribed mass. Well-circumscribed, may capsule, yung green. Kinulayan lang yan, kaya green. So it has a capsule. Cut section, it's a solid tumor pero benign. Smooth kasi yung cut surface. Usually, pag malignant, granular. Pag benign, usually smooth. Smooth yung cut surface. So, usually sa mga ducts and ductules, proliferation of the ducts and ductules plus the stroma. Okay, so, that's a fibro, fibrous adenoma. So, proliferation of the ducts and ductules and also of the stroma. Fibro adenoma. Lipo, mamadali lang. It's a well-circumscribed mass, okay? Na ang proliferation would be the mature adipocyte. Kaya siya yellow, okay? And parang taba lang, okay? So, yan ang li lipoma. Lipo means fat. Oma means tumor. Okay. Smooth muscle. Medyo mahirap to. Ah, ganun din. This is also... Uterus. Okay, kita mo yung muscle. This is a, a serosa. Wala lang dito yung ovary. Tinanggal lang siguro sa kapalopong chip. But this is, again, parang ganito, mas malaki lang. It's another example of a layo mayoma. Mas pangit ang itsura niya, baka mas cellular lang siya. Okay, it's a smooth muscle tumor. Ito yung bone tumor. Ito yung bone tumor. Tapos, nasan yung... Tapos, nasa loob siya ng uterus. Nasa loob siya ng uterus. It's either nasa mucosa or nasa muscle, intramural, within the muscle. Ha? Huh? Sorry? This one is the whole uterus. Okay? Siguro uterus lang, wala yung cervix. Okay? And then, the only way to differentiate kung malignan yet or hindi, you have to do microscopic examination. Titiyan mo kung marami mitosis or low mitosis. Ang so, dyan po ngayon, wala po tayong makikitang parang mga mas katulad dito. Hindi, by microscopy, makita mo smooth muscle siya. Pero sobra itong laki, it's just labeled as smooth muscle tumor. Uh, Di ba pag smooth muscle, may benign layomayoma. May malignant layomayosarcoma. Size would tell, mas, siyempre ang sarcoma mas pangit. But you have to confirm it by doing microscopic examination. No, not yet. It's a smooth muscle tumor at most. Kasi this is just gross. Gross lang siya. Okay? Pag benign, typically smooth, cut surface, solid. Okay? Yun yung mga benign. Pag malignant, nagkakaroon ng necrosis, hemorrhage. Kaya medyo suspicious, kaya you have to do biopsy. Okay, okay so we're done. Now we go to the ovary. This is a ovary. This is mature cystic teratoma. Okay? It's a benign ovarian tumor originating from the three germ layers. So ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. So you have, minsan meron kang ngipin. This is a tooth. Meron kang hair, may taba. Ito, ngipin yan, di ba? Tooth, ayan. Oh, that's a tooth. Okay, mesoderm, ectoderm. It's, and it's a cystic tumor. Okay, ayan. It's an ovarian tumor, may fallopian tube pa. This is your fallopian tube. This is a tumor, it's cystic. Pag kinat mo yan, usually nakita mo sebum. May hair, may tooth. Okay? So, this is mature cystic teratoma. Kaya cystic, Kasi grossy, it appears cyst. Mature, kasi mature elements. Teratoma from three germ layers. Okay? Oma tumor. This is another tumor. Ano yan? Hindi naman. Actually, one of the common yun eh. 
Ano sis to? Ah. Uh, tubal sis, para tubal sis. Fallopian tube sis. F sis, F sis. Later, hindi ko alam. Breast sis. Anyway. Anyway, this one is invasive breast CA. So breast carcinoma. So this is the entire breast. Ang tumor dyan would be yung mga ill-defined areas like usually mga ill-defined areas na gano'n. No? Di ba very invasive siya? So this is part of the nipple. This is the nipple complex. Ito yung nipple niya. Okay. Yung tumor would be something like abnormal. Yung gano'n, no? yung parang light areas. So light areas. So usually yung invasive ductal carcinoma can arise from mga pre-existing fibrocystic change. Fibrocystic change is a lesion. It's a benign lesion. Sometimes, nagkakaroon ng proliferation doon and they become carcinomatous. So, they would form yung mga ill-defined, di ba hindi siya well circumscribed na ito, ill-defined lesions sa breast. Again, if you have the genetics for breast CA, mga BRCA1, BRCA2, mga HER2 genes, So, yung mga predisposed to develop breast CA, yung mga mataas ang estrogen levels. Even the fibrocystic change or fibroadenoma, yung fibroadenoma, benign tumor, usually, nandiyan yan. Okay? Parang hole, nagagalaw. Ang invasive CA, very fixed, hindi siya nagagalaw. Okay? Cut surface, typically granular, hindi smooth. Okay? So, that's the invasive breast carcinoma. So, yung fibroadenoma, yung gumagalaw. Yung fibroadenoma, yung Movable. Movable. Kasi may capsule siya eh. Ita sa capsule, so you can move it. Movable. Pag ginalaw mo, magagalaw siya. Fibrocystic change, is, ang fibrocystic change also sometimes movable. Invasive car carcinoma, usually they fix siya. They adhere to surfaces, so minsan, minsan fixed. So it's immovable. And sometimes you see dimpling of the skin, kasi nare-retract yung skin. Because of the, of the tumor itself. This one is just a cyst, hindi ko na kung anong cyst. So usually, sometimes some tumors can have a cystic. Probably this is the ovary, na merong uh, cirrhosis. And that particular cirrhosis nag-twist, nagkaroon ng infarct. Okay, hemorrhagic infarct, kaya black. Okay, parang dinaguan. <laughs> This one is a colon. Now, adenocarcinoma. So ang tumor mo, ito yung normal colon. So, if you have a tumor, ito siya. It's a fix, matigas. Kung papain nyo, matigas. Cut section, kita mo puti-puti. ba? Diba? When you do a cut section of that, you see glands, malignant glands, back to back. Okay. So, ito yung tumor. It forms a bulky, circular. Ito, matigas yun. Ito yung malambot, eh. So, this is the tumor. Yan yung tumor. Yung matigas-tigas. Okay? So, that's adenocarcinoma because it arises from the glands. Again, it could be genetics. Okay? Pwedeng may ATC gene ka, di ba, na-activate. Okay. Diet, yung sobrang meat, high meat diet, low fiber. Okay. Puro Jollibee, puro KFC. Okay. High in saturated fat, etc. Uh, this one is polyp. Colonic polyp. Okay. Colonic polyp, Usually polypoid, kita mo, polypoid. Minsan pwede yan dito. If you see a polyp, nakaganon lang siya, oh. Yan. And some malignancy can arise from a polyp. Lalong na yung mga tubular adenoma or tulog tubulovilus adenoma. So, polyp. This is a colonic polyp, probably a tubular adenoma. Okay? Usually polypoid siya nakaganyan. Okay? So, this is adenoma. Polypoid lesion, parang finger. Okay. This one is, ano to? A meloblastoma, mga meron yan. Ameloblastoma usually is a mandible, so they arise from dentin structures. Okay, this is a malignant lesion. So kita mo yung cut surface niya is very irregular, di ba? And you see, uh, may brown, merong light areas, may fibrosis. Okay, sometimes cystic, sometimes solid. So it's it's a mixture of solid and cystic. Ano po nila lamang po lalagyan ng blastoma? Ah, blastoma means immature kasi. Blast means immature cells. So, ameloblastoma arises from a primitive 
uh, dental structures or dentine. Ano ulit yung? Amelo, blastoma. Amelo, para mga dentine structures. Blastoma, oma means tumor. Blast, immature. Okay. It arises from an immature structure sa mandibo. So, the big thing is a... Usually sa jaw. Okay. It's a locally invasive tumor. This one is follicular adenoma, yung kanina sa thyroid, di ba? It's a solid. Di ba, follicular adenoma, dapat walang capsular or vascular invasion. If they do, you call it follicular carcinoma. So, ang normal thyroid dito, yung red-brown, meaty, cut surface. The tumor is this one. Okay? It's well circumscribed. Okay? So, pag lumulunok ka, gumagalaw din yan. Kasi the thyroid is what? Movable, di ba? Mag-reputation. Ang popularity, ang mong popularity, doesn't have a difference, di ba? By gross, ang hirap. But if you do microscopic, you see the finger-like sa mga bodies. You see follicles, closely packed, no capsular invasion, no vascular invasion. Pag may vascular invasion yan, or capsular, you call it follicular carcinoma. Hematogenous lymphatics. Okay? Papillary carcinoma. Because it forms papillae. Okay? No, if it's carcinoma, you have to do colectomy. You have to remove the entire colon. Kano ano? Wala. You just do anastomosis. You take, you make, you adhere. Yung kung ano na remaining, ititikit mo lang siya. If it's, you can do that. Otherwise, kung masaya tumo papa, you have resection of the entire colon. Tiba. So na kakulos mo mika for life. Lymphatics, hematogenous. Ito pong sa'yo, makikita po ba crusty pag yung sa'yo may capsular invasion? Yeah, by microscopy. Not by histology. Okay? Okay? Sige. Sige.